But our top story right now, NASA sets a surprise date and time for the next attempt to launch its mega moon rocket, now aiming for 2.17 Saturday afternoon. You're looking live now at the SLS on at Kennedy Space Center's launch pad 39B. News 6's James Barbero is following this breaking story live from KSC. And James, Saturday wasn't previously an option. Uh, what's NASA saying about this new launch window and what they learned from yesterday's scrub? Well, starting with the weather, Ginger, a weather officer says the weather conditions will only be 40% favorable, 60% chance of violation. So not promising. And we also should note that Saturday is a little bit of a surprise because initially, ever since NASA announced yesterday's attempt, back about a month ago, they said that the backup windows would be Friday, September 2nd, or Monday, September the 5th, Labor Day. So they're squeezing this next backup date, the one that will actually happen in between those two dates. It will be Saturday at 2.17 in the afternoon, the opening of the two-hour launch window. That is just in about an hour ago from the mission update. This countdown, NASA says, it will start its engine chill down earlier. Yesterday's scrub blamed on cooling liquid being unable to flow to one of the core stage boosters RS-25 engines. The Artemis 1 mission manager says teams chose Saturday, their first option, after meeting this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Listen. We agreed uh, on what was called option one, which was to operationally change the loading procedure uh, and start our engine chill down earlier. Uh, we also agreed to do some work at the pad uh, to um, address the, uh, the leak that we saw at the hydrogen tail service mast umbilical. And we also agreed to move our launch date to Saturday, September the 3rd. And again, NASA confirms it will be at 2.17 in the afternoon, the opening of a two-hour launch window. And the Artemis 1 launch director who called yesterday scrub, she says if weather scrubs this launch attempt on Saturday, the backup window will be Monday. So it sounds like regardless, it will be a very busy Labor Day weekend here on the Space Coast. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.